In this video, we'll be talking about the Typhim Vival, a vaccine used to help prevent typhoid fever. This vaccine works by increasing the body's natural defense against the bacteria that cause the infection. It is recommended for people who are traveling to areas where the infection is common, those who are in close contact with someone with an ongoing typhoid infection, and those who work with the bacteria in a lab. It's important to note that this vaccine is used to prevent the disease and will not treat an ongoing typhoid infection. As for the dosage and timing, it's best to consult with a healthcare professional for individual recommendations. Before receiving the Typhim Vival vaccine, make sure to read all the information provided by your healthcare professional. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. The vaccine is administered through an injection into the muscle of the upper arm for adults and into the muscle of the thigh or upper arm for children by a healthcare professional. It is important to receive this vaccine as a single injection at least two weeks before potential exposure to typhoid fever. If needed, it can be administered every two years thereafter. After receiving the Typhim Vival injection, you may experience redness, tenderness, hardening of the skin, and pain at the injection site. You may also have symptoms such as headache or muscle pain. If any of these effects last or get worse, it is important to inform your healthcare professional promptly. In rare cases, some people may experience symptoms such as fainting, dizziness, vision changes, or ringing in the ears just after receiving the vaccine injection. If you have any of these symptoms, it is important to tell your healthcare professional right away. Sitting or lying down may help, as these symptoms usually don't last long. It's important to note that this medication has been prescribed because your healthcare professional has determined that the benefit to you is greater than the risk of side effects. Many people using this medication do not experience serious side effects. While a very serious allergic reaction to this drug is rare, it's crucial to seek medical help immediately if you notice any symptoms of a serious allergic reaction, including rash, itching slash swelling, especially of the face slash tongue slash throat, severe dizziness, or trouble breathing. This is not a complete list of possible side effects. If you notice any other effects not listed above, it's important to contact your healthcare professional for medical advice. If you're in the US, you may report side effects to the Vaccine Adverse Event Reporting System, VIRS, at 1-800-822-7967. In Canada, you may call the Vaccine Safety Section at the Public Health Agency of Canada at 1-866-844-0018. Before getting the Typhim Vival vaccine, make sure to let your healthcare provider know if you have any allergies, especially to vaccines, as this product may contain inactive ingredients that could cause allergic reactions. You should also inform your healthcare provider about your medical history, particularly if you have immune system disorders or if you are currently experiencing a fever or illness. If you are pregnant, this vaccine should only be used if it is clearly necessary. It is also unclear whether this vaccine passes into breast milk, so it's important to consult your healthcare provider before breastfeeding while using this vaccine. When taking Typhim Vival, it's important to be aware of any potential drug interactions. Certain medications can affect how Typhim Vival works or increase the risk of serious side effects. It's important to keep a list of all the products you use, including prescription and non-prescription drugs, as well as herbal products, and share it with your healthcare professional. Do not start, stop, or change the dosage of any medicines without your doctor's approval. Some products that may interact with Typhim Vival include drugs that weaken the immune system, such as cyclosporin, tacrolimus, cancer chemotherapy, and corticosteroids like prednisone. Be sure to discuss any concerns or questions about potential drug interactions with your healthcare professional before receiving Typhim Vival. In addition to the treatment of typhoid fever, Typhim Vival is also used for the prevention of this disease. It is recommended for individuals who are traveling to areas where typhoid is common or for those who are in close contact with someone who has been infected with the bacteria that causes typhoid fever. This vaccine, like any other vaccine, may not offer complete protection to everyone who gets it. It is important to understand that while Typhim Vival can help prevent typhoid fever, it may not guarantee immunity for every individual. So, it's important to still take other precautions to avoid getting infected. In addition to the treatment of typhoid fever, Typhim Vival is also used for the prevention of this disease. 
It is recommended for individuals who are traveling to areas where typhoid is common or for those who are in close contact with someone who has been infected with the bacteria that causes typhoid fever. Make sure to store typhim vial in the refrigerator, but do not freeze it. Also, remember to protect it from light and keep it out of reach of children and pets. When it comes to disposing of this medication, it's important not to flush it down the toilet or pour it into a drain unless instructed to do so. Instead, consult your pharmacist or local waste disposal company to properly discard the product when it's expired or no longer needed. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.